Okay, so first of all, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a map in Python using Basemap, which is part of the matplotlib package. Quick disclaimer, I am not an expert in Python. I am an atmospheric chemist, and I sometimes make maps to show the locations where my samples were collected. So first of all, we're going to import all of the things we need in order to make Basemap work. This is from MPL, which stands for matplotlib underscore toolkits dot basemap import basemap. And it's important that this basemap here has a capital B. Then import matplotlib dot pi plot as PLT. And now we've imported the things we need. I'm going to make the most simplest map you can possibly make, which is m equals base map open brackets projection equals and then in quotation marks mil for a Miller's projection map. Then I am going to draw the coastlines with m dot draw coastlines open and close brackets and then in order to get the map to actually appear we need plt dot show open and close brackets and then the first time I run it I will get this thing here that happens every single time you plot something for the first time in Jupiter you just need to run it again and now we have a little map here now when it comes to different projections in Python if I search for base map projections and then open up this page here, this here is a list of all of the different options that are available. For example, we are using the Miller projection. So you can see that this map here is the same as this map here. And then this piece of code up here is what you need to make a map that looks like this. And here we have the projection equals mil part. And each one of these different projections has a different sort of code that will make that projection. So to make a map that looks like this, you need this projection here. So now we've made the map. The next thing I'm going to do is add in a line of code to make this map bigger. So I'm going to do fig equals plt figure open brackets fig size equals open brackets 12 comma 9 and then Jupiter automatically makes the closed brackets for me. Now if I run this you can see I now have a much larger map. This line of code isn't particularly important. I just want a bigger map to make it easier to see for the video. Now, the default map is going to be a world map, but you can zoom in on a particular area of the map by setting the top most right-handed corner and also the bottom left-hand corner using latitude and longitude coordinates. Now, longitude goes across the map from side to side, and it starts at minus 180 here and goes all the way till 180 here. And then latitude goes up and down the map from top to bottom, and it starts at minus 90 here and then goes up to 90 here. So in order to set the latitude and longitude coordinates, I'm going to do comma, enter, and then lower left corner latitude equal, is equal to minus 90 in this case, comma, enter, and then upper right corner latitude is equal to 90, and then lower left corner longitude is equal to minus 180, and then upper right corner longitude is equal to 180. Now, if I run this as is, it's not going to change anything because I just set the boundaries for a world map. 
that if I change this now to zero and run it, it's going to cut off the bottom half of the map. Then if I change this back and change this to zero instead, it's going to cut off the side of the map. And you can see that there. So I'm going to change this back now to minus 180. But you can mess around with these four numbers in order to get it to show the part of the map that you want. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to change the resolution of the map. And in order to do this, we need to do comma, enter, and then resolution equals. And then in quotation marks, I'm going to put a C. And that stands for crude resolution. And that is the default one. So you can see this hasn't changed. The next highest resolution is low resolution, which is represented by an L. And you can see we now have slightly more detail in the map. The next highest level is I for intermediate. And then when I run this, it's going to take slightly longer to load every time you increase the resolution. And now you can see we have a map here with a bit more detail. Now the next highest resolution is high resolution represented by a H. And this makes a map that looks like this. And then the highest resolution that you can have is full, re is full resolution, which is represented by an F. And that makes a map that looks like this. Now I'm going to change this back to crude because that's the one that's fastest to load. And now the next thing I'm going to show you is how to draw the country boundaries. To do this, you need M dot draw countries and then open and close brackets. Then if I run this, you can see we now have the countries. I can change the color of these by doing color equals and then in quotation marks red. Now uh, colors in Python come with a bunch of inbuilt color names and you can see what all of them look like here. So if I run this, it changes all of the country boundaries to red. Now we can go a layer deeper than this with M dot draw states, open and close brackets, and then I'll make these blue and run. And you can see for some of the countries we now have the states. You can go another layer deeper than this with M dot draw counties, open and close brackets, and I'll make these orange and run. And you can see here we now have the counties. This only really works for the United States. Now I'm going to comment all of these out. To comment things out, you just need to put a hashtag in front of the line and then it will ignore that line. And then you can also plot m dot draw rivers, open and close brackets. And I'm going to make these blue and that will show all of the rivers. And you can see that here. Now I'm going to comment this out to bring us back to a blank map. And the next thing I'm going to show you is how to color in the map. So I'm going to do m dot draw map boundary open brackets and then I am going to do fill underscore color is equal to aqua and then run and this gives me an error message but as it still plots the map I'm just going to ignore that message. And what M dot draw map boundary does is it basically sets the rectangle going around the map 
So if I do color equals pink and then line width equals 10 and then run that, you can see I now have a thick pink line going around the outside of the map. And then fill color just fills all of the area inside that rectangle. Now at the moment it is plotting over, it's coloring in all of the land surface as well, but that doesn't matter because we're about to plot over the top of that with m dot fill m dot fill continents, and then we're going to have color equals light green, and then run, and you can see it has now changed all of the land to green. I can also do lake, lake, color equals red, and then run that. And it changes all of the lakes to red. This looks a little silly. I think it is generally best to have the lake color be the same as the ocean. Now, if I comment this out, and bring us back to a completely blank map. There is another way of coloring in the map, which is m dot draw land c mask open brackets and then land land underscore color is equal to light green ocean underscore color is equal to aqua and then lakes equals true which will make all of the lakes the same color as the ocean and if I run this you can see that we get a very similar map to before now if I comment this out there are a number of other backgrounds that you can have for example, if you want to show the topography, it's m dot e t o p o open and close brackets and then run. And that will produce a map that looks like this. If I comment this out, you can also have m dot blue marble open and close brackets and then run. And that produces a map that looks like this. If I comment this out, there is also a, another option, which is m dot shaded relief. And if I run that, and you get a map that looks like this. Now I'm going to comment that out. And the next thing I'm going to show you is how to plot grid lines on the map. So to do this, we need to import another package, which is going to be import numpy as mp. And then down here, I'm going to do m dot draw parallels, open brackets, mp dot arrange, open brackets, and then with mp.arrange, this has three inputs, the start, the stop, and then the step. So this is, the start is where you want the grid lines to start from. So in my case, it's going to be minus 90. The stop is where you want the grid lines to stop. So that's going to be 90. And then the step is the gap between the grid lines. So I'm going to have my gap be 10 degrees. And if I run that, you can see we now have all of the latitude grid lines plotted. We can label these grid lines by doing comma labels equals and then in square brackets. And the labels feature has four inputs, which is left, right, top and bottom. So if I want to have labels on only the left hand side, I need to do true 
and then make all of the rest of them false. Then when I run this, you can see I get labels on only the left hand side. Now the next thing I'm going to do is plot the longitude grid lines. This is very similar, except it is M dot draw meridians and then MP dot arrange. And this time I'm going to have it go from minus 180 to 180 and then have a step of 30 degrees. And then for the labels. Another way of doing this is to use numbers to represent the trues and falses. So 0 is equal to false and then 1 is equal to true. So in this case I'm going to be only plotting labels on the bottom. And when I run that you can see I now have labels along the bottom. Now the final thing I'm going to show you is how to add a title to this map and that's nice and easy it's just plt dot title and then open brackets and in quotation marks whatever you want your title to be so I'm going to call this base map tutorial and then run and you can see I have a small title here now I'm going to make this a little bit bigger by doing comma font size equals 20 and then run and now I have a much larger title. Okay so in this video I have shown you how to make a map in Python using base map. This video is part of a series of videos I'm making where I make a map using different pieces of software so if you would like you can check that out and that is everything.